Welcome to the channel. I almost wasn't going to film today, but can't leave you hanging, can I? I'm on a roll. Not much to report on regards of sales, but I've done a bit of listing today, so hopefully that'll spice up the store again. I've recently gone through all of my stock on eBay on my store that's already on there and taken off any dead weight and anything that needs to go back to the unit so these third party people can come and pick it up. I've got an opportunity to clear dead weight, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've been going through a little bit of a rift with my previous people that I used to do consignment for. But I'll tell you more about that later on down the line, depending on how they behave. Some of you might notice the t-shirt from the other day is fitting and I, I love it. I just love finding clothes in the charity shop that fit me and I like. Currently I'm sorting through a consignment bundle for Mr. Project Games. He sells cards and cards only, mainly. And I'm going to send him everything that I have, everything that I've got. I've got bags and bags and bags. Big up Aboriginal, you need to get hold of me. I've got bags and bags and boxes of stuff. We've got vintage Pokemon, modern Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, just loads of it. I'm going to send it all to him and let him do the work. And he can just pay me once a month, whatever sells. He's doing it with James and it's a nice way for him to get... Oh, I mean, I understand the consignment side of it, so I'm happy to give that to him. I'm not going to get around and do it. I can't be bothered with cards anymore. Unless it's absolute bangers. Like I've got a couple today that I pulled... Matt made me open the box, made me rip the box when I pulled a £20 card. I'm going to list that one, but you can have the rest. And there's loads of really good ones in here. Like, like I've got these from, um, oh, I can't remember your username. I'll put it up here. I know who you are. I can see your face. I can't remember your username. He had them on Facebook. He paid like 40 quid. I think I paid 50. Like, lots of vintage ones and stuff. Some good ones. Oh, there's that number C. Oh, fuck it. From a whatnot stream. Remember 19 went missing. Um, these are all the modern, new ones. We've got so much different stuff in there. We've got loads of Pokemon stickers and cards. These are all the e-reader series. Loads and loads and loads. Loads. We've got a base set. All sorts. So instead of me thinking about dealing with all that and having to get all that done, he can do that. That's his speciality. And I'll just sit back and coin it in. And he can as well. So yeah, just having a bit of a weird day today. I've kind of been on edge. I've been on attack mode. I've been on defense mode. I've been on resilient mode. And it's kind of worn me down. And I almost didn't put a video out today. But I've been going through some stuff that... These motherfuckers. But we'll get into that more if and when I have to. Hopefully I don't have to. But also alongside that, I had a phone call from the car dealership today. Hi, Mr. Lee. I'm really sorry, but we've actually sold your car. Now, the car that I was getting, I was dealing with the Basingstoke dealership and it actually was in, the car that I wanted was in, um, not Southampton, it was in between Southampton and Basingstoke. Chandler's Ford. Pissing around, pissing around. I'm getting phone calls left, right and centre from different people, from finance companies and stuff. Called me up today. Lovely bloke he is to be fair. I'm not, I'm not angry at him. We've, they've sold the car. So but I've paid for the reservation. That's my car. So now I've had to choose a different car. I've actually gone for a year new. I've gone for a 2020. And it should be ready by end of play Tuesday. He said end of play. I remember those terms from being in an office. End of play. Or oh, get that to me by EOD. Turn up. So hopefully I'm going to get that sorted. So I can actually have a car by the end of Tuesday. Because in my head I've already got. But you know the car's now upgraded. I've got, uh, I've got the Elite trim. Got the Elite interior. Uh, less miles, it's actually a petrol now instead of a diesel, which I'm not too happy about, but whatever. Everything's just a bit nicer inside. I'm paying a bit more as well. I sh you know, I, I should have tried to haggle something there for the for the complete piss around, but I didn't. But yeah, so no sales to talk about today. I just wanted to come on here anyway, regardless, because if I get into a routine of not uploading because I've had a bad day, I want to talk about it. I want to let you know where I am, what I'm doing. I want to document it. I know this is a reselling channel and reselling community. There is a roof, there is a ceiling on where you can go with it. I don't want to change direction of my channel, but I want my channel to be about reselling, but also about me. Is that self-centered? I don't know. It's just content. People enjoy following people's lives and stories. I've got a few people that I follow that I enjoy their life stories. So that's why I thought I would continue with this video. I really enjoy making YouTube videos and I really enjoy being a part of the community and I really enjoy reselling. But that's not all my life is and that's not all that I want for my life. Eventually, one day, I want to be in a position where something happens and I'm able to leave reselling behind or at least pass it down to Emma or pass it down to Emma and George and they can have the business 
and I'll do other things in the background. But this channel is always going to be here regardless. So today was just a tester of, all right, you've got nothing to report on reselling massively, but it doesn't mean you can't create a video and create content. Because I know there's a lot of you that follow me for me, and I really appreciate that. I do see the positive comments alongside all the negative as well. Of course, I see the positive. The positive shine. And I want to do a video one day just reading out all of the lovely comments that people have left me over the years. I'm going to go through, find them all, screenshot them, and then tell you a little bit about how each comment does make me feel. So yeah, weird day today, weird vibe. I've took some photographs, I've listed some stuff, just got a few things processed. I haven't been feeling it at all today, but you know, the business, if I stop, it stops. It doesn't mean that I would jeopardise my own health as well. If I really wasn't feeling it, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do any work, I wouldn't do a video. But... I'm keeping everything within my realm where it needs to be. I've been abused over text all morning. I've been called cunt. I've been called scammer. All from people that I used to work with. But you know I keep receipts and I keep everything above board. Everything's documented. Everything's there. And if I communicate with sour people, I do it all via text. Because I love a phone call when it gets heated. But when things like that happen... You need to keep everything documented. Because I like to think of myself as a very peaceful person. I've had violence in my life, childhood, teen, 20s, inflicted and given out. But as time's gone on and I've got a lot older and a lot wiser and a lot greyer, I've realised that peace is the best option. But people should never underestimate a peaceful man. Because I've got that war in me. So I think I'm going to crack on and get this consignment ready for Matt, get a few things packed up for him. I brought him a t-shirt off Whatnot the other day as well from Top Clobber, so big up man. I got him a nice little Wales t-shirt and then I thought I'll just stick that in with the consignment box. It's Saturday tomorrow so I'm really hoping for a Saturday car boot sale. The weather is looking iffy but on the brighter side of iffy. So I've got some cash ready, I've got my bum bag out. I'm going to charge the GoPro this evening. I've got Ada's dance phase in the next 20 minutes, so I need to get gone and get out of here. I just thought I'd spent the whole day thinking, I'm not going to do a video today. I'm not going to bother. Nobody's going to care about anything that's not reselling related, or at least heavily reselling related. And I thought, no, you need to do this, because YouTube is a part of my life. It's a part of my business. It's a part of my circle. It's a part of my mental. It's a part of my physical. It is something that I do. So here I am doing it still plodding on tomorrow is a better day so remember if you have a shit day the likelihood of the next day being better is massive after every dark night must come a brighter day see you in a bit